As the cacophony rises about the radically different Windows 8, Microsoft takes a major step closer to finalizing their new operating system. Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt for CNET, and today we're taking a first look at the Windows 8 release preview, the release candidate version. This thing's almost done, folks, so let's go take a look. New Windows 8 laptops will ship with trackpads that support multi-touch for scroll and zoom, and edges for using Windows 8's side menus. New default apps include news, travel, and sports. They provide robust, in-depth, and customizable content. Semantic Zoom is much smoother, it's been applied to more apps, and it's key for navigating in Windows 8. The on-screen start button has been shrunk so it works better with the cursor and doesn't interfere as much on smaller screens. Close the desktop like an app and it frees resources without costing you your work. Close a Metro app the same way and you're starting over. Some questions do remain. How will Outlook fit with the streamlined mail and calendar apps in Metro? Can Sync be finished in time? Or is it actually done and Microsoft is just holding back? we know they're holding back the final look for desktop mode. It's no surprise that the Windows 8 release preview is in much better shape than the beta version consumer preview, but there's so many things that still have to be fixed, and there's so much scrutiny being placed on this Hail Mary of an operating system that it could well suffer death by a thousand cuts. With a cautiously optimistic first look at the Windows 8 release preview, I'm Seth Rosenblatt.